Well, you would think that our soldiers are protected from head to toe before they head off to the war zone, but that's not the case, and one company is trying to change all They've that. They've created bulletproof pants. Emily Flores got a chance to experience this innovation created right here in Utah. What are these all about, Emily? Mark and Shawna, U.S. troops face danger every day on the streets like the one behind me in Afghanistan and Iraq. Attacks come from any direction at any time. The person who came up with the pants experienced the war zones himself and says he would not have lost as many comrades as he did had they had this added protection. Our motivator is to get our men and women out of the battle home safely. To better protect our troops as they protect us. Our prime motivator is the warfighter. A Utah-grown company called Amendment 2 says they have a product that will help bring our soldiers home. I would say that this is the Cadillac of lower body armor. There's nothing else like it. For years, the focus has been to protect the upper extremities. We wear a lot of body armor over there. Leaving our soldiers only half protected. From the waist down, we don't have the protection that we should have. But in a war zone where roadside bombs are causing the most injuries. Unfortunately, a lot of our soldiers are dying because they're getting these wounds and they're bleeding out very quickly. It's been said that soldiers often take off their vests and sit on them while driving to protect themselves from explosions from below. The waist level completely down to the knee. The company says they've created a solution, bulletproof and shrapnel proof pants. We think that protecting lives is something very, very serious. John Fierro, vice president of the company, explained how the pants are made. This stuff can resist an incredible amount of heat. They're standard military pants. It's washable, pliable, malleable. But with something special inside. Soldiers can run, jump, get in the crouching shooting position with these. Four layers of ballistic resistant material. The company says there's nothing stronger on the market. There's nothing that this material can't do what that the soldiers are already doing in this pant. Amendment 2 allowed 2 News to come along for a test. It'll recoil up. And with a quick training course, they place the gun in my hands. Now here's the test. We're going to shoot a 9 millimeter gun that holds this standard military round. So here we go. No pressure. These are only $300,000 pair of pants. Here's the pants that we just shot. The bullet obviously penetrated the poly cotton fabric that we have, but the Kevlar on the inside stopped the round. But they say the pants are more than just bulletproof. They also protect from one of the deadliest threats, shrapnel. It will rip through a soldier's leg or thigh, slice open the femoral artery, and cause them to bleed to death. You have anywhere from 10 seconds to a minute before you've expired. Although the company claims their pants are bulletproof, they do not claim the pants will stop the massive impact of the bullet or shrapnel from bruising, breaking bones, or possibly causing other serious injury. But they say you will survive. They call their product the last line of defense. We've been fighting wars for years without it. Is it just something that'll improve our odds of coming home alive? If it saves one life, it's worth every penny of it. And he meant every penny. To produce the first pair of pants cost the company $300,000. Now, obviously, they will be much cheaper as they come to market, selling anywhere between two to $700 a pair. And law enforcement is looking into them. Sheriff Winder of Salt Lake County says he is interested in eventually testing them out for his officers. Now, officials from the Pentagon are also giving the company's product some attention. Back to you. Good. Interesting. All right. Thank you very much, Emily.